Hey everybody, Boris Schlossberg. Today I'm going to show you how to place orders in MetaTrader 5, which it couldn't be easier. There's lots of different ways for us to do that. But before we place orders, a very, very important order of business for us to, to know is that MetaTrader 5 by default creates a 100,000 unit trade. That's the default size that MetaTrader assigns to any trade you make. So I'm going to show you how to make sure that you do not trade too large for your account size and how to change your default right away so that you know you're never going to be able to trade too large for what you want to do. The way you change your default size, trade size, is you go into Tools, you go into Options, you go into your Trade tab. And right over here in the Volume, you have a choice between By Default or Last Used. Let's choose the default function, and here we can choose any size we like. So I've chosen 10,000 units, which I think is a reasonable sort of a size for a small retail account. Of course, you can choose any size you like. You could even do it to 0 0.1, or you could do a full standard lot. Or if you like to trade large, you can do 10 standard lots. The point being is you can configure it any way you like, and then from then on, that will be your default size. But it's really, really important you do that so that you are fully in control of the risk that you're going to assume. So we'll say OK, and now that default size is 10,000 units. Now, it's very, very simple for us to trade. There are several ways we can trade. The easiest way is strictly off the chart. So we could, you know, if you want to buy your dollar, we could just click on this on the, on the offer, and we're long your dollar. Um, it won't put a stop or a take profit on it when we do that this way, but if we go into uh, right-click the line and say modify or delete, it will come up and it will allow us to put a stop loss on it and a take profit into the uh, trade. And we'll click this and we'll just get rid of it. If you want to sell it, Exact same thing, except we go the other way. We hit the bid, and the exact same thing, we, we, uh, uh, we are able to come into the trade. You see how fast and easy it is to point and click in MetaTrader? Now, another way to come in and do trades is to hit the New Order button. And this button gives us a lot more functionality because, first of all, not only does it allow us to trade different symbols, so we can do a drop-down menu, you can trade all the other symbols that we have on our charts, but it allows us a variety of different types of trades. Instead of just market execution, we can do a whole bunch of pending orders. Now, the pending orders that MetaTrader 5 comes with are buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, sell stop, and buy stop limit, sell stop limit. The difference between a buy stop and a buy stop limit is that the limit actually tells the program I want you to buy, for example, you know, a buy stop is above the market. So right now, euro is, is 113.84. Let's say I'm going to put a buy stop limit at 1400. If euro goes to 1400, I'm going to buy myself into the trade. Uh, if it's at 1400, it will execute me. But if it goes and jumps right through from 1399 to 1402, it will not execute me. It means buy to that price or don't do me at all. If it's just going to be a buy stop, it's going to turn into a market order and take me into whatever price is available. So this gives you a tremendous amount of granularity and control at exactly what price you want to be able to come into the market. So let's just, for example, put in a buy limit on the euro. We'll put this in at 1300, excuse me, uh, 1380. One, 1380. We'll put a stop loss at 1350. And we'll put a take profit at 1400 just, just to show you how it's done. And let's just say place, and boom, we have the order placed. The stop loss take profit are right then and there. And you can see, by the way, that it's within 10 pips of our entry price. It's very close to where we want to be buying it, so it gives us a little green notation. If it's 10 pips or less, MetaTrader will visually tell you that it's close. So now we'll just simply kill it and get rid of the uh, place button. Now... Another way of placing a trade is from the market watch window. In this case, let's just do pound dollar. All we have to do is click, right click on the symbol and hit new order. And once we do that, our very familiar new order window pops up and we can now then execute a pound dollar or whatever symbol we have over here as, a, as an order symbol. However, the absolute best way to execute a trade, in my opinion, is with the free expert advisors that Pepperstone includes for you. I want to show you this one particular expert advisor from Pepperstone that I absolutely love. It's called the Mini Terminal. 
Now, before you put down any expert advisor, of course, you need to make sure that your auto trading button is turned to green so that everything is going to be working. But all we have to do is just simply drag this onto the chart and I'll show you how well it works. I'm going to say, okay. And now we're going to get, just give it a second and here we go. Now we're going to get like a little mini terminal that's going to allow us tremendous amount of functionality with, tre with tremendous amount of ease. First of all, the size can be configured right within the terminal. So we can go small or large, up or down, very, very quickly. In addition to which, it comes with defaults of stop loss and take profits, which makes it very, very easy for us. We don't have to think about configuring defaults of, of stop loss and take profits when we're doing trades. And all we have to do is simply just simply do the same thing. Click a buy for the buy or hit the bid for the sell. So let's just get long your dollar. And all of a sudden you can see, boom, we're in the trade instantaneously with uh, stop loss and take profit, all of our risk is, is controlled, and we can exit the trade at a profit to make sure that our MetaTrader tools from Pepperstone did their job. If you're a point and click trader, this is just one of the greatest things in the world because it allows you to do instantaneous entry and exit of the markets and wrapping around the risk and the, and the exit. You can also obviously create templates in this that will allow you to have your own defined take profits and stop losses and even multi-entry complex orders. All of this completely free to you, very, very functional and super easy to use. So if you're a point and click trader, this makes MetaTrader 5 even that much better.